And the last thing I want to talk about, and this one's going to be a doozy, and I might be offending some people for this one, and if I do, apologies in advance, but I will be talking about, once again, one of my favorite subjects, Nintendo. <sighs> if you didn't know about it, last week, Satori Wada basically made some forecast report, <laughs> and basically, they're not good. It, it's so bad that the stock went down. They're uh, apparently there's they're basically are going to lose some money, and that Satori Wada, the president of Nintendo, basically cut down the forecast of how much we supposed to sell the Wii U. And the 3DS for the Wii U was from nine million. Originally, he said that by by the fiscal year nine they'll sell nine mean nine million Wii U's. Now it became 2.8 million, a 70 percent cut, and that's big and that's not a good thing. It basically showed that well, you're losing confidence and at the same time you're being realistic. So. That's really unfortunate. And for the 3DS, that's including the XL and the 2DS, they said from 18 million to 13.9 million, which is, I guess, but the 3DS is selling more. They're be <laughs> selling better than the Wii U. So, that is bad. And basically, even, sadly to say also, in my opinion, that he won't resign. And I'll basically give you my opinion about him also in this one why he should resign but first I want to talk about Nintendo in general ever since the Wii U was released I already had a feeling that it wasn't going to be good I'm sorry to say it was just it was written there it was just in plain view it's just they have good games but when I heard about the Wii U at E3 2011 uh, starting with that year I'm like Okay, I don't think this is good. This is kind of confusing. And the more I learn about it, the more I always... My feelings like, yes, I don't think this is not going to be good. I don't, wanna, I don't want them to fail, but in my guts, in my instinct, I just know it, realistically, that this system is not going to sell well. I mean, I can see it from far ahead. So let me tell you from beginning what happened, what I think, why I think this way. When at E3 2011 they introduced the Wii U, the first thing they showed was a gamepad, the Wii U gamepad. First I said, well, what is this? So your next console is just a gamepad? Am I supposed to attach it to the Wii? They showed it so much that they even forgot to show the console. I mean, even the video about it, the first Wii U video in 2011, like, I don't get it, what are they doing? Okay, there's a second screen experience, you can use it for web, watch TV, it just, it didn't really make sense until later, to, oh no, there's a console, it's a new system. Wow, I'm a Nintendo fan, I'm very into video game. I know the industry, and when I, myself, was confused with the first time I see the Wii U, thinking at first it was a gamepad for the Wii. There's something wrong there. I'm sorry. I like Nintendo. I grew up with Nintendo. Like I said, I'm a Nintendo fanboy. And when I see it, the first thing was, I'm baffled and confused. There's something wrong with Nintendo. So then later when they learned more was, oh, guess what? Our system's gonna be an HD system. Finally. A Nintendo console in HD. Whoopee. I'm sorry. 2005 was the year of HD. 2005-2006 when the Xbox 360 and the Wii and excuse me, the PS3 came out. That's the HD era. The 1080p. Not now. They're like, they're always one step behind or perhaps two steps behind. I don't know why. And when I saw it, I'm like, okay, maybe, remember, like I said, graphic has not it's not always games about graphic. As long as the gameplay is good and the game looks 
very artistic, I'm fine. Because Mario Galaxy is not an eight. Mario Galaxy one and two, they're not in HD. They're good. Punch Out for the Wii, pretty good. Their games are good, and that's always their key point. They make good games. They push it to the limit, and you can't deny it no matter what. Any Wii game, any Nintendo game that Nintendo develop internally, will always be better than any Microsoft or Sony. No offense, not being a fanboy. It's just it shows. That's why graphics not not it's not everything, but at the same time, I feel like, dude, you're stuck in the past. Get with the time. So like I always say, gameplay over graphic, but you really need the balance. So their system is 1080p. Can they really compete that way with the PS4 or the Xbox One? Uh, like I said, I don't think so. So that was bad. So first, it was, it was already confusing with the gamepad that was, it is a console of its own. E3 2012. Oh, it's an HD system. Okay. Welcome to 2006 Nintendo. But again, like I said, I can agree. Graphics is not everything, but gotta get with the times. You can't stuck in the past, and that's always been the problem. And then the problem was also the games. They're doing the same old games again and again and again and again and again. I like Mario games, I like Zelda game, but I don't know how many times I can always play a new Super Brothers game or Super Mario 3D game. Or It's always the same formula. Get the mushroom, get fireball, dodge, stomp. Or with Zelda game, you're a hero, get the Triforce, get the Sages, get Pendants, save Princess Zelda. It's the same formula. They're try- I mean, they're trying to change it a bit, but to- in the end of the day, it is still the same formula. So, again, I like their games, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm feeling I'm very oversaturated. Uh, saturated. Yeah, we got Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8, Awesome G Gravity, Super Mario Brother for the Wii U and 3DS. Cool. Mega Man, Rosalina, the Wii Fit Girl, Villager. I don't know who else knew, but it's probably going to be the same thing. But then they're, they make too much sequel. No offense. Uh, I wish they would do new IP, but I guess because that's what the role of Nintendo is. Mario games and sell the game sell. So all right, well, continue with my story. So I saw the gamepad. Oh, the 1080p. Okay, maybe they're good, but I don't think they're gonna be a competitive. Uh, September 2013, or excuse me, 2012. Uh, press conference about the Wii U. First, they showed TV, Nintendo TV, TVI. All right, well, to tell the truth, really, <laughs> you're not really watching Wii U TV on your Wii U. It makes you switch to a TV station, and you, have, you can just use the gamepad as a remote control. And I guess you may comment. I hardly play it. I don't know how to use it. Someone has to explain to me how to fudge how TV I work or TV work. So, but I guess, I don't know, I just say so-so. Kind of weird, but whatever. You know, you need a break when you're playing video games, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm just too old for this. But that wasn't really a major thing. The big major thing is the price. That's what also gonna kill, what's going to kill Nintendo. I knew it a mile ahead the minute they showed. I mean, Iwata even said, Oh, don't worry, it's going to be... The price of the Wii is going to be reasonable. And it's not going to be over $300. Well, he is, he is right. The basic set was $300. But of course, this is the bare bone. It has nothing in it. And for people who don't know, and also, I'll put it on the description box, my blog about the Wii U. It's an old blog, an old article I wrote in my website when I thought about it. And there they explain everything what the Wii U, the two basic Wii U was. I'll give you the gist of it. It was, there was a basic and the deluxe. Basic was 8 gig, no game. It was white. The black one has some extra stuff. Nintendo Land. <laughs> and it was a 32 gig. And that one cost $50 more. 
So for fifty dollar more, you get more stuff. Which one do you pick? Think about it. Do the math. But even so, here's the problem: the price. Oh, three fifty. That's a good price for a new console. I don't know. Yeah, it's Nintendo's new console, but the problem is, it's what the PS3 and 360 is. It's a technology seven years ago. So, we want something new. And that's what the PS4 and the Xbox One is. They're going beyond 1080p for now. And of course, with 4K TV coming, let's see what happens in the long run. Not right now, because we're still in the transition. We're still in that transition, I guess, phase. So, give it more time. Maybe by 2015, then they'll probably see new better graphic or beyond 1080p but again problem is technology is too old it's been there seven years ago I know graphics is not everything but again like I said gotta keep in the times so the price wasn't there it wasn't really right and the game Nintendo Land not everyone likes Nintendo Land I bought Nintendo Land for 20 bucks I said that to one of my other video but it does show the capability of what the gamepad is so that's what they put it in I can agree with that but again fun game not something you play for long and like I said the games they have Super Brothers U and what else they have I think that's it <laughs> and that's also another problem is with Nintendo was with the Wii U when it launched there was no Nintendo games there was only Super Mario Brothers U and Nintendo Land. There was no Pikmin 3. There wasn't Zelda. Wonderful 101. And anything made by Nintendo or published by Nintendo. There was no games. Because again, uh, people know this, and this is a fact, whether you agree with me or not. And if you're offended with this, I'm sorry. But ever since the N64, when Sony came in, Nintendo became a secondary console that people who buy Nintendo console is just, and that's a keyword, just to play Nintendo games. You don't go third party on it. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. When I bought the when I bought the PlayStation and the PlayStation 2, that's where my third party game is. And that's always been my rule. Whether the game is ugly or not. I'm building up my PS2 library for the GameCube. I was just buying Nintendo games and exclusive. That's it. And that showed in the GameCube. And you say, well, that's not bad, right? Well, if somebody who wants one console and wants everything, they can't get that luxury. And, of course, in perspective of business or competition, you're out of luck. Why should I buy your system if the other competitor has more games think about it so and that's always been the problem and if you don't even have Nintendo games on the console that's bad that's that's very bad so that was that's the problem with Nintendo and because the reason why there was no Nintendo game it is for people who still don't know and they've been saying this Adam was saying this Alex from Game Horizon saying this Everyone you know from the who works in the game industry knows this. Nintendo admitted they did not know how to make HD game because they never tried it. They never knew. And the problem was is there was even rumor that third party wanted to help Nintendo teach them how to develop games for HD. I know Platinum Games did. They know that's why they had no problem. They did it with Bayonetta. They had games. Vanquish, which is a good game, I know. Arnicurain. Another good game from Platinum? They know, but I don't know why Platinum's not helping Nintendo. Or maybe they did, they did, I don't know. But the problem is, Nintendo's eternal development team, they didn't know. They admitted, they said they didn't know how to make an HD game. That's why it took longer. And that's why for A.G. Yoma, the guy who basically was in charge of Zelda game, did 
Wind Waker HD for two main reasons. One is so they can practice doing HD games. So to understand how to develop games in HD. And the second reason is it's for the fans. So you can have a Zelda game while a real game, a real Zelda game, excuse me, gonna come out. Which AG basically said it in a New York Comic Con that in E3 2014 there will be there'll be there'll be reports or news about a new Zelda game. And no, Hyrule Warrior doesn't count, but I'm still gonna look for that one. I think I like Dynasty Warrior, so. But anyway, back on track. Yes. The biggest problem is there was no Nintendo game. So how do you showcase your system if there's no Nintendo game? How can third party support your system? And that's also a problem. There was no third party support. They tried, from what I heard, Reggie said they were trying to get third party, but I guess that failed. So that was the problem. Like I said, the confusion of what the Wii U was, the price, the technology, I seen it like Okay, it's a good system, but I don't think it's not going to be successful in the general market. And also, because one of the biggest problems why the Wii U didn't really sell well is, everybody knows this, it's a common reason, business and market. Their market sucks. I'm sorry to say. I don't know what's wrong with their market. They're finally trying to fix their market, but it's still not there you're not it's still not really convincing people why to buy Wii U and the biggest also fault in 2013 was when they did those two basic SKU the reason there was even a basic Wii U set the white one is for the casual who basically want one or two games don't need a bigger hard drive I just want to play my casual game in HD and guess what that failed because the casual market they didn't even know there was a Wii U. People even said it. I knew friends said, oh, did you know that Nintendo had a new console? And they said, w- what? They have a new console? Wow. How come I never heard of it? Exactly. They don't check the news. I don't think it wasn't even in the news. I think they hardly was talking about the news. Commercial was confusing as heck because they kept showing the gamepad and what people think about the commercial, the commercial in 2012. Oh, it's a gamepad. Oh, it must be something I can use with my Wii. Again, even I thought it wasn't the beginning until later on. The the approach, the market approach with the Wii U was really horrible. It was just horrible. That was the problem, and that's why they really couldn't do anything about it. You know, thank goodness for a price drop in a new SKU. And by the way, <laughs> funny funny story. One in Facebook, one of the guy asked, "What's my prediction for 2013?" And I said, "We will have a price drop within a year." <laughs> Called it, and they did. They did have a price drop. So, ooh, me, I know, kind of immature. I do apologize for that. But that's also the problem. There was no games, and the market was poor. It was so confusing. People don't know what the Wii U is. And so, because a lot of those problems, that's why they had to slash their forecast for selling the Wii U from 9 million to 2.8 million. So, it is an unfortunate, but again, I'm sorry to say, Nintendo did it upon yourself. Your strategy didn't work. You know, you know the other competitor has better. Don't just say, oh, because we got Nintendo games. But, they aren't there. They weren't there. There was no new Mario. It was a year later, but that's already too late. People, as of now, I think most gamers are focusing on Xbox One and PS4. So, it's an unfortunate. You had a, Nintendo, you had a year, but you blew it. I even said it in my article about it. You have a year to convince people why we you, and you didn't, including me. I only bought one when you had a price drop and you had a better SKU. And I, I did explain it to another video, links in the description box, about it. But Nintendo, I, I'm sorry to say, you blew it. You, just you blew it. I I don't know what to say. 
<coughs> oh, excuse me. All right. Well, here's another question now. So should Satori Wada resign? Should he step down? In my opinion, he should, because he's doing mistake over and over again. And how does he rectify it? Oh, he apologized to the stockholders and investors. I mean, I do understand about apologizing to people, but when push gets to shove, that doesn't do anything. Oh, I'm sorry, I messed up. And then you move on, you're trying to fix it, and it didn't work. What, you're going to apologize again? I mean, you know, it's admirable that you're taking the blame. Uh, but... So Tori Wada, he's, he's just, I don't see him, he's not learning. I mean, even he said it himself, he admitted. He knows the Japanese market, but when it comes to the world market, he's clueless. He said it, he was confused, he doesn't understand. Because, I mean, before that I said, you know, hire some an advisor to help you understand the world market. And if you don't, you gotta step down. I mean, this is an open letter to Nintendo and to Iwata. Iwata. You know, I know in Japan you have, you, there's a thing called honor. You guys respect honor. You know, if you want to have honor, don't ruin Yamoji's legacy. He built the company. If it wasn't for him, there wouldn't be video game. It wasn't for Nintendo. And I know you're trying, uh, trying to follow in his footstep, but... I don't know what to say, but you're not really doing it. You're doing mistake over and over again, and you're not learning. So be a man. Be honorable. Step down. Let somebody new who knows the world market run Nintendo. Don't ruin his legacy. Don't ruin Yamuchi's legacy. You know, be a man about it. Be honorable. You know that your your time is already out. You're out of place. You were good in 2001 to 2000. And I guess seven 2008. You gotta step down, Niwara. I don't think you're a bad guy. I don't think you suck. <laughs> Excuse me, but you keep running the company. It's gonna get hurt. It's gonna ruin his image. It's gonna ruin his reputation. And Yamauchi's legacy, it might get tarnished. So, Iwata, this is an open letter. You wanna, you, I know you say you're not gonna resign, but you should consider it. Just step down. Be honorable. You know, don't tarnish Yamuji's legacy. I'm sorry to say. And again, just disclaimer, it's just my opinion. So, if you're offended with that, I apologize. But, just like what CM Punk would say, it needs change. It gotta change, and if Iwata still CEO after a spring 2014 or the new fiscal year, nothing's gonna change. It's gonna be bad. So, again, Iwata, no offense, don't take it personal. Step down. For the sake for the company, think about the company. What's good for the company? I know people may respect you. But you gotta step down as CEO. You can still work for Nintendo, but just don't be CEO. Be something else. Have a new assigned occupation. I don't know what, but for you as a CEO, I'm sorry to say, it's not good. So, like again, in my opinion, Satori Wada should step down. So, and of course, one of the okay, another thing the problem with the Wii U is. First, they're marketing to the casual that failed. And sadly to say now, as of November 2013, guess what? Now they're catering to friends and family. And I'm going to give you a link to Review Tech USA's video about <laughs> Nintendo's commercial family and friends. I don't think it's bad, but <laughs> the problem is the co-op because of they're thinking the family gaming it still exists which yes with the internet that doesn't exist anymore I don't think it does but you know who knows we'll see what happens 
So I'll give you a link with a View Tech USA video and also my video on where the idea came from. You'll you'll know about it on there's gonna be a video links in the description. And yeah, that's the problem. Like I said, the biggest problem is their market, their business, their technology, their knowledge of video game. They don't know how to make HD. Now they're finally learning. And another problem. There's two more problems. Online. Lack of online. And I know people say, oh, we don't believe in online. We like, we focus on family gaming. It's a forefront. It's, it's a cover story to, rumor has it that the problem is Nintendo themselves don't know how to make online games. They don't know what, how the online structure. I mean, I could be wrong about it, but again... Maybe I'm wrong, but I know I'm hearing rumors about it that Nintendo really don't know about online. I mean, there was an article in IGN that stated that they even said, don't compare Nintendo's online to Sony or Microsoft because they're not the same. Whoa. So, you admitted that you're, you don't know how to do online. I'll go look for that article, and if I find it, I'll put it in the description box, link to it on the description box, and also, why do people don't buy games, like game third party games on Nintendo, well there's well, one new feature, you don't give thanks to Microsoft, achievement, trophies, an achievement based system, in my opinion, personally alone, I think all like third party games on, on the Wii U are GIMP, yep, yep, Yes, I did say the word. I said the G word, GIMP. Why? There's no trophies. There's no achievement. I'm sorry to say, I do like trophies and achievement, and some people do. And whether you agree with me or not, some gamers, some consumers, buy games just for trophies and achievement. Yep, you may agree with me or not, but sometimes that's one of their criteria, trophies and achievement. And Nintendo doesn't have it doesn't make sense. I know there was an article at Iwata, even, or not Iwata, Shigeru Miyamoto said he doesn't like it, it he thinks it's stupid, because it makes you forced to play a certain way, you should have your own freedom. Well, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. But just put it there for people who want to do it. They want the challenge. It's not bad, it's not going to tarnish the game, so... Oh, geez, I don't know. I'm just so riled up about this. Uh, so, yeah, no achievement, no trophies. Why should I buy it for... I mean, I get more value getting it on the other console. That's why some third-party games, they're not even in the Wii U, because they know, chances are, people are not going to buy it. Even like, well, what about PC? They don't have achievement. Well, if you put it on Steam, Steam achievement. Yeah, it's not... It's not, quote-unquote, cool as Xbox or PS3. But guess what? It's, at least it's still there. Wii U, they have in-game achievement, but they want a system-based achievement so they can share that. And there was an article in IGN, some guy, like, that's how to improve beavers. Well, put some achievement and trophies or accomplishment or whatever. If I find an article again, I'll put it in the link uh, in the description box. So, again, you know, I'm sorry if I sound like ranting here, but when it comes to Nintendo, kind of like Adam, Review Tech USA, or people who grew up with Nintendo, we do get riled up. And I know for the, <laughs> my goodness, for this part, I'm thinking, I'm really talking a lot about Nintendo, so again, apologies, but it's just Nintendo themselves. They're, they're an awesome company, but at the same time, right now, is they're falling behind. The games are, and because the games are good, but they're getting dragged by the market, they're taking them down. It's unfortunate. So, I don't know how they're going to fix that. Well, just hopefully games. I think games, games, games. So, more games, you know, starting with February with Donkey Kong Tropic Freeze. And then Mario Kart 8 on spring. Just get rid of the blue shell because that's a stupid broken ass item. Oops, excuse the language. I'm sorry. And of course, people but because the most anticipating game, Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U and 3DS. 
Oh, boy. I do apologize for the long... <laughs> I'm sounding ranty right now, so, but okay, I'm gonna keep it cool. But the question is now, how to fix Nintendo? There are a lot of people said, like, how to fix Nintendo in their opinion. Some of them might agree, some of them I don't. <laughs> but this is my take on it of how they should fix it. One, this one's probably gonna upset a lot of people. Again, I'm gonna apologize in advance for this one. Like I said, if you're offended with something what I say about Nintendo, even I'm a Nintendo fanboy, I do apologize, but I gotta say this. Number one, gamepad. Seriously, you're not really using it too much. I mean, excuse me. Yeah, in my opinion, the gamepad is not bad, like most people say. But the problem with the gamepad is it was so expensive, that's why it's racking up the price. The same deal with the PS3. The reason why it's $600 is because they were putting a lot of features in, and the cost was just building up. In my opinion, they should sell the gamepad as an accessory, maybe for... I don't know how much, because I know they said it's $150 to make. Oh boy. So, like, instead of a gamepad, put a pro controller. I know a lot of people, they're not going to like it, but if you want to sell units to the general market, and you want to make it cheap, you might want to consider just putting in a pro controller instead. Because, like, this, like most people said, they don't really use the gamepad that much. Like, the features, I mean, the only good thing is off-screen, that's good, but... <sighs> I don't know if a lot of people uses it, the off screen, but game get rid of the gamepad. And okay, the second thing is, <clears throat> most people said, "Oh, drop the Wii U, make a new system." <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to think about that. That's gonna be bad, I guess you can say. And review tech USA already addressed it time, times and times again. That <clears throat> they can't pull what Sega did and just keep constantly giving you consoles. And because you know the history about it, you want to know more. Again, a lot of this is gonna be in the description box. I'll link you to review tech USA story about Sega Saturn. It's an interesting story about it. So or the Sega console legacy story let's just say that but I would say at least make it some sort of new add-on that's it kinda like the HD DVD for the 360 or or the NES days the Famicom disc gun system which is the ability to save your game on a proprietary floppy disk <laughs> So, I mean, I did a video showcase about that one. I guess I'll put that in the description box. I just gotta remember it. So, an add-on may be something that can go beyond 1080p if they know how to do it. And I think another thing they should do, as for business, again, I'm not a business major, so I'm just suggesting things like a amateur. Get some help, Nintendo. Ask people. Hire some people to help you f upgrade the Wii U or the Nintendo console. The problem is is that you don't even ask for help when you you do need help. I'm sorry to say. I mean, if people offer you help, don't throw them away. So, maybe they need help for people who know. Like I said, the same goes with getting a new CEO. They need help. And the problem is that people, time and time again, including me, we would, I would like send emails suggesting how to fix Nintendo, and they say, "Oh, we'll put it in consideration," and of course, nothing happens. So, so that's what the problem is. So that's the second thing is, if don't throw away the system, but just make an add-on, something new that help, just what benefits with the Wii U. I don't know. The third thing is, since the Wii U is backwards compatible with the Wii game, market that, the backwards compatibility, and re-release some Wii games. Xenoblade Chronicles, Kirby Return to Dreamland, 
I wanted to get get those games, but I was hoping for a price drop. It never happened, and right now you're trying to get Xenoblade. They're sixty dollars used at or eighty dollars at GameStop and and Amazon. Most of the Wii games, Kirby Return to Dreamland, is like seventy four bucks. So Nintendo we release some Wii game that people miss. You know, since it's back compatibility, use that feature. Relive the Wii day. You missed it the first time. Get it again. That's all. Like PlayStation Now, and just and then it's too. And if you can't do it in a down in a physical form, do a download. That's why you can use an external hard drive. Get it in a down in a digital form. You know, if you miss some Wii game, here's your chance to get them again. It, those things work. Same goes with Virtual Console. I bought Virtual Console NES game that I never got it when I was young, so I'm playing them now. Sadly to say, I kind of s- horrible about it because I gets too old and my NES instinct just not there no more. Kind of sad, but that's a different story. So re-release some Wii games. So drop the game pad in the skew, make that an accessory like most some people do. Make an add-on for the Wii U. I mean, don't drop the Wii U. Make still Wii U game, but make an add-on on it. And just make some moderate games with it. And we release the Wii library. Like your library. Fire Emblem Radiance Dawn. I missed that one. You know, in either digital form or release it as Nintendo Select for the Wii. I mean... Good grief. That's also one of the problem with Wii games or Wii U is that it's sixty dollars. The games are sixty dollars. I'm surprised so much that already some of the games within a year they already have a price drop. Well one of them was like I said in my previous blog, Nintendo Land had a price drop from sixty dollars to thirty dollars. And now Game and Wario is thirty dollars. I think that's the permanent price drop. And I think also Wonderful 101. I bought the game, it was 30 bucks. First I thought it was just a special Christmas sale. And I found out that it's not. It's actually a permanent price drop. The game wasn't bad, but it is kinda hard. But that's what Platinum Game is. It's not a bad game. I mean, $30, you should try it out if you have a Wii U. So I'm seeing some games, they're already doing price drops. So that's already three Wii U games. Nintendo Land, Gaming Wario, One for One One, and well, published game wise, like Ninja Gaiden Razor's Edge. Yeah, I mean I seen it in clearance out for eighteen dollars, <laughs> but I'd rather get it for the PS3, and you know why? Same deal, trophies. But I'm basically saying that Nintendo games that made by Nintendo themselves are dropping the price. Because, like I said, one of the things about Nintendo's known for is they never, ever, ever price drop any Nintendo game. It took a long time for Super Mario Galaxy 2, Nintendo, or Nintendo, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, and the, it, I think Mario Kart, 8, Mario Kart Wii, maybe, I'm not really sure. It took them a long time just to make it 30 bucks. And they're not even Nintendo Select. It's still taking a long time. That's also they should bring back. The Nintendo Select program. A.K.A. Greatest Hit for Sony. Or Platinum Hit for Microsoft. You gotta do it. You gotta cut some losses. Not everyone's gonna pay Nintendo game for $60. They're not made out of money. <laughs> so I know development costs a lot of money. And you need money. But for crying out loud. You gotta cut some losses. So... You know they sell, so do it. The what did they call Player's Choice or Nintendo Select, or I call it a budget program, affordable AAA game for people so they can build their library. So those are some of my hints. Get rid of the uh, get get rid of the gamepad for the SKU. Make an add-on for the Wii U, like another add-on. I don't know what. We release some Wii games and make use more of the Nintendo Select program. Make more games affordable in the long run. Maybe then you'll probably 
help support Nintendo, Wii U, and probably makes you money. I mean, the reason Nintendo's really making money is the 3DS, because they're most people prefer the 3DS rather than the Wii U. So, all right, I've been talking too much about Nintendo. I mean, I already said about Iwata. I already said how can they fix it, in my opinion. So, I hope you did enjoy this blog. I know, like I said, when it comes to Nintendo, I do tend to talk a lot about it. I apologize. So, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you later.